I've got the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism eyeshadow palette to share with you guys today. I actually purchased mine off of the ABH website, but it's also available on Sephora. Um, I've seen now as well, and I think it's also on Ulta.com if I'm not mistaken. At least I've seen, the new, I've seen the new highlighter palette on that website too. And on the back of the box it says it's a luxe holiday eyeshadow collection with 14 shades featuring universal neutrals and prismatic metallics. And I think that, that description fits this perfectly. Each shade is 0 0.02 ounces per shadow, which is uh, on the smaller end of the spectrum in ter term of size. It does come with the standard ABH uh, double-ended brush, both synthetic. You got a fluffy blender and then kind of a flat shader. I don't really use uh, these brushes ever in the palettes, but it does come with that. And then the actual palette itself is housed in a cardboard packaging with a black velvety feel to it much like the uh, modern Renaissance um, she's done a couple with this uh, I'm not nuts <laughs> about the fuzzy packaging I think it is pretty but especially this being black um, and fuzzy it's just gonna show everything <laughs> other than that I mean it does look pretty when it's like spick and span and brand new but I can just about imagine how dirty this is gonna get uh, it does have a mirror inside and then here are your 14 eyeshadows um, I did do a demo, which is the look that's on my eyes right now. If you want to see how I got that and also how these shadows uh, worked for me, that'll be towards the end of the video. The metallic shades in here have a really thick formula. It's almost like there's a lot of uh, dimethicone in them. Uh, they go on really nice. Uh, some of them, like the Lucid shade, I did have to kind of push my brush into it to pick that product up, um, which is typically what I find with those thicker dimethicone formulas. You really have to kind of grind your brush in there, but once you get them on the eyes, they are pigmented and they blend really well. It's just a matter of the the consistency of the eyeshadow itself, I guess, when you put the brush in there. Other than that, with the metallic shades, I didn't have any problems with the mattes. I used one, two, three, four of the shades in today's eye look. They're very pigmented. They blend really well. Uh, this I couldn't help myself. I had to dive right into the brightest shade in this palette. Uh, one thing that I like about palettes like this is you kind of look at it and there's not a ton of uniformity to it. Um, and it always yields a really interesting look, I think, when when palettes come out like that. And I, I feel like this is no different. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom up close and give you guys swatches. And hopefully you can see a little bit better the consistency and the pigmentation of the shadows. And whether or not it's something that you would like. So for matte shades, you've got these two right here. These two. These two. And then this brown. So I'll go ahead and swatch these by two. This is by far the worst performing one in terms of like the consistency of it. It's just a little, I think they pumped it full of just a little bit too much dimethicone. Um, once you get it on though, it's very pretty. But it is, uh, that one is kind of hard to pick up on a brush. And then these two mattes. The mattes do uh, are very pigmented and they blend beautifully as well. And these next two. That's really blending into my skin. And these middle shades. A couple of the pans in my palette too are like loose in the, the like, you see it's like wobbling. They're not in there very well. Like it's wobbling around. These two right here are probably they're, they're two of my favorite shades in this palette, the lime green and this shade, which I use these in my look today, too. But that uh, lime green shade is just popping, man. Nicely pigmented, too. And then the last two, a matte black and kind of a matte dusty rose color, brown rose. And then here's the palette next to Subculture. Subculture is on the bottom, and the Prism palette is on top. So 
So there are some similar shades in there, but with uh, quite a few of ABH palettes, you can uh, grab a couple of shades in each palette that are quite similar, so. Hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Again, this palette works very nicely for me. I have very little fallout. The shades are pigmented. The only ones is some of those uh, metallics are just a little bit pumped too full of like um, a dimethicone, <laughs> which makes it harder to pick up on the brush. Now, if you're interested in seeing the look that's on my eyes and how these worked for me, you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes with the NYX eyeshadow base. I mix two colors. I mix number one and number three together from the lash line to underneath the brow. If you guys hear like machinery outside, uh, my brother's stacking hay out there, so that's what the noise is. But I'm going to take a glass number 18. This is the old version. And I just want to go into this bright lime green matte color called Sphere. <laughs> it's like the like the one that sticks out with the palette the most, I guess. I'm gonna really pack this on the inner portion of my eye right here. Like I just for some reason want that to be just bright, bright lime green. <laughs> I'm gonna go above the crease with it too. There really isn't a super great shade to fade into that bright lime green color. Um, so I'm going to go into the shade Pyramid, same brush. I'm going to put that next to the sphere shade on the lid. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to stick very well um, because of the matte. And it's kind of not, but I'm just going to go with it anyway. Put it right there. And again, same brush. I'm going to go into the shade Eternal and put that on the rest of the lid. Next I'm going to use the Chicago GSN 9 and I'm going to go into the shade Saturn, which is a matte, uh, kind of dusty orange color. I'm going to put that out here. And drag it across here. Then I'm going to take a Hakuhoto J 5523 brush and go into the shade Eden, which is another matte. And start buffing this out. It's like a um, brighter coral orange. Then using a Goss number 17 brush, I'm going to go into the shade Unity. It might be a little bit dark for underneath the brow bone, but it's a matte. Um, I'm just going to use it anyway. Yeah. It's a little dark. Just blend this down. Then I'm going to go back in with that Hakuhoto brush in the shade uh, Eden and fade it up just a bit more. And bring it down here a little bit. I'm digging this. <laughs> I'm going to take that uh, Goss 17 brush again and go into the shade Lucid. I'm going to use like just the tip of it and put just a bit of this right, right underneath the brow bone on the outer, I guess, two thirds. I think that's as far as I'm going to go with the eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eyes and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. For lips, I've got the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Voltage. I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with this guy. And then to fill them in, I've got MAC Patent Polish Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Teen Dream. I used this a couple of videos ago, and I was like, geez, I should have... Busted that out a long time ago. I 
So there's the overall finished look using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Eyeshadow Palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye.